Yo, what is going on everyone? Today, I'm going to be revisiting Call of Duty for Modern Warfare, or I mean, Modern Warfare Mastered in this case, because let's be real here, Modern Warfare Mastered is just COD 4, but way, way better. So there's really no point to ever even going back to COD 4 in any way, shape, or form. And we're just going to be playing, revisiting the game, because I did the same thing last year, where in preparation for Black Ops Cold War, I kind of revisited every single Call of Duty multiplayer in like a video format, you know? And I decided why not do the same thing for Vanguard, you know? We got about maybe five months until the game's launching, so I thought why not just take advantage of the old CODs while we're at it, you know? Just enjoy them while we have them because I really don't feel like these games are gonna be playable forever, considering a lot of the player counts are already dwindling as the days go on. So I really like to take advantage of these older games, just play them as much as possible. Especially like World at War, like Modern Warfare 2, the really, really old ones. Those are the ones that like you need to worry about and are probably going to not have really anyone playing within the next couple years. So we're going to do these probably like every every week or two, you know, every, every week or two we'll, we'll have a new one of these up. I started this way later last year. I started in like August, like late August, right after the reveal or right before the Black Ops Cold War reveal, actually. So... Now we're going to be starting it a lot earlier, just so I don't have to rush them as much as I did last time. Because last time I was I was rushing to get them complete before Cold War launched. And I don't really want to be in that rushing mood, I just kind of want to relax and do them when I can. So we'll just, you know, play the games, revisit them, talk about them in a nice chill live commentary-like format. It's a, it's a pretty fun time, I gotta say. What the shit? Did that car just kill me? Yep, it did. Oh, you corner camping with a claymore. Yep. There are definitely some Call of Duties I'm not looking forward to revisiting, but I'm a pretty big fan of, of this one. I think the original COD 4 is just very outdated, and you're not going to find many players on it anymore because because of this game. This game just, you know, kind of took over. So now everyone goes back to this one, and I would say this is one of my favorite of the old classic Call of Duties. Definitely not my favorite, but out of the old six ones... You know, the, the, the what they call the golden era of Call of Duty games. COD 4 is got one of my favorites, but MWR kind of just completely took over. Which just goes to show why I feel like more Call of Duties need remasters like this. Because not only does it revitalize the player base, it also just gives the, nice, the games a nicer look. You know, obviously the graphics are a lot nicer, the game's a lot smoother than COD 4 ever was. I would love to see a remaster just like this, but with World at War. And also the game gets more cosmetics and stuff. It's just, it was a great thing for Mono, or Call of Duty 4 to have this remaster, I gotta say. I'm kinda messing people up right now with this M4. I just dropped that like right on me. Oh shit. Got him. Got the helicopter. Pretty easy. We're gonna try to use as many different types of weapons as we possibly can. I want some good variety in this game, you know? Definitely don't want to get stuck using the same couple weapons, because that's no fun. I'm not a I'm not a fan of just using the same couple weapons. I know people like to do that. They use like the meta guns, the guns that are the best ones in the game just because they know it's gonna give them the easiest amount of kills, but I don't find any enjoyment in doing that at all, man. Are they all camping up there? What are they doing? <laughs> They're all sitting in their little spawn area there. Crash is a pretty good map, I would say. One of the better maps in this game, so. Oh, got him. Bro, I'm demolishing right now. M4 is one of the most, like, just versatile guns in this game, for sure. It just, it knows what it is, and it performs really well in doing that. Another helicopter? Oh, right as the game's ending, though. Oh, I was gonna pull out the deagle. I think I have a deagle, yeah. I was gonna pull out that deagle, pop him with that a few times. Well, the game's about to end. We're, what, 36 and 13? That's not a bad start to this video. I mean, haven't even got a chance to warm up yet. And we're only using the M4 as well, which is a good gun, but it's definitely not the definitely not one of the better guns in the game. I'd say a lot of other guns that probably would be better for most instances, but that was fun. I had a good time. Of course, it can't be a Call of 4 video without some shipment, so... Let's get some shipment in here. This is going to be fun as hell. This map is by far one of the most fun 
experiences in Call of Duty in this game and in World War II. I think it's an absolutely atrocious map in Modern Warfare 2019, though. And not because, not just because Modern Warfare 2019's mechanics just don't really work well with it, but mainly because they changed the map design. That's my biggest problem, is they completely changed the map design and made it in a way that just does not flow well. I mean, Shipment itself doesn't really have the best flow to begin with, but there's at least some sense of control that you can have in this version. And also, Time to Kill in Modern Warfare 2019 is just a little bit too fast. Which is why the Ghosts version of Shipment expanded the map a little bit, because they knew you can't have a really fast time to kill on a really small map. It just will not work. It will be the worst experience of your life, which is what Modern Warfare 2019 kind of turned into. But people like it, just because of the simple fact that it's really good for getting camos, if you're the one getting kills, of course. People are running Juggernaut, and they're really taking a lot of shots here. Which is why this game really doesn't have, like, that slow of a time to kill. But because of Juggernaut, it makes the game feel like it has a much slower time to kill. Because the difference between having Juggernaut and not having it is pretty noticeable, I would say. Just using the P90 here with absolutely no attachments, because why the hell not? Man, those airstrikes are just insane on shipment. It basically takes out half the map. Don't even think about it. We're gonna die. There's no way. I just threw that right at myself. No! I threw that at myself as well. I call that in. I gotta get out of there. I gotta get out of here. Desperately gotta get out of here. Reload, 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 reload. We're one kill off an airstrike. Let's get it. Drop it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, we're getting taken over! We're getting taken over! Airstrike, get one kill, that's all I need. Just one kill. They didn't get one kill, are you kidding me? There we go. Yo, move! Brody's trying to get me killed. Oh god, no! Oh, my team all left. It's just, it's just three of us now. We're being completely outnumbered. Well, we got a helicopter at least. Oh, look at that quad feed. Obviously, two of those kills are worth a helicopter, but still. This is actually kind of fun. They got a full team, and it's just it's just the three of us. My helicopter's tearing up right now. No! Do it! <laughs> reload, reload, reload! Right, come on. Call on the UAV. Back up. Drop the airstrike. And we're dead. I shouldn't have dropped the airstrike. Oh, the game's gonna end anyways. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man. Shipment's fun as hell, man. Shipment's fun as hell. So now we got a match here on Showdown. With this beautiful looking MP5. Just look at this thing, man. This thing's gorgeous. I do not like this map. I'll just be straight up honest with you guys. I am not a fan of this map. This is probably one of my least favorite maps in the game. There's a couple maps like that. Uh, I think Block is another one that I really do not like. This map's just weirdly designed. Like, I don't know. There's something just really odd about it. It doesn't really flow that well. And it ends up kind of being a little awkward. Like, the places you come across people are just very awkward. Right from behind, nice. Whoa, where, where, where? UAV recon standing by. This could be a good position to be in right over here. Just wait till they come around this corner. Nah, I don't wait, I rush. I rarely wait in Call of Duty, man. Waiting is so fucking boring. Waiting, camping, whatever you call it. Absolutely no fun. Rushing's just it's just a way to play, man. Did that guy die? Yes, yeah, assist. Is that not gonna get a single kill? Yeah, I don't think oh one kill. No! Nope. Don't wanna do that. But I can go up here and loop around, and this could be actually a good way to get to them. 
I, I have no idea where they are because we just keep switching. There we go, got the helicopter. I feel like we're getting the helicopter every game now. It's really not hard to get it. It's literally seven kills. Like that's that's not hard to get. You're a decent player. You can you can get a seven kill streak pretty easily. Which is why like I know it's a remaster and I don't really think they should change things. At the same time, I wouldn't really mind. I can't jump up there, can I? I wouldn't really mind if they added like a uh, I don't know a couple more streaks. Maybe even just a nuke. Twenty five kill streaks you get uh, twenty five kill streak you get a nuke. Why not? They have the medals, but like, does anyone really care about getting a nuclear medal? I don't know. I just do that right at myself. Nope. That was really stupid of me. I'm better off just not throwing concussions, because I feel like every time I throw concussions, I get myself with it. <laughs> nope. What the fuck just happened there? Enemies, where you at? Y'all don't seem to want to spawn in. I don't even know what kind of a streak we're on right now, but... Dude, my the teammates just keep killing everyone. I can't, I can't even find anyone no more. We're just gonna run right straight down the middle, why not? Run a 15. Yo, let's get a nuke. Let's do it, let's get a goddamn nuke. I feel like we need to get like the majority of the rest of the kills. We can, we just need to hurry up if we want. Holy shit! Bro! Get down, get down! Let's go! Come on, come around the corner, come on! No, where you at, bitch? No! We literally just need, like, no! We can't get it! Teammates got too many kills. Was that a 25? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, we were feasting there at the end, dude. We definitely went on a 24, 25. We went 26 and 5 in total. That must have been at least a 25 kill streak. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe it wasn't. No, because we got 20 and then we got probably like a 23, I'm thinking. I don't know. Whatever. We've had three games in a row that have all been pretty good so far. So we're, we're, we're getting some success here, man. We're getting some success here. And we can open up Supply Drop. Let's open up a Supply Drop. Why the hell not? Give me something good. Come on. We got one Epic. Hopefully it's attached to like a weapon or something. For the Liquidator? I don't know what the Liquidator is. Oh, it's a shotgun weapon kit. I mean, I guess we could just buy it now, but do I really want to? No. Alright, I have decided that it is time to pull out the M16 because we're playing on Crossfire and this is... Definitely a very M16 type of a map. But I have terrible accuracy for some reason, so <laughs> maybe this won't go as planned. Because M16's like OP as hell if you have really good accuracy at a range. If you're up close, I guess it doesn't really matter. You can probably do just fine with the aim assist. Whoa, 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 where did you come from? Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Got him. Call my UAV and get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Accidentally turned on that for some reason. Turn that back off. No, I don't want that. Damn it. We got the helicopter though. Are we going to get the helicopter every game? Probably. It's just not that hard to get, man. Last stand is the most obnoxious thing ever. It should not exist. How did that guy kill us? I'm not gonna question it. Dude's trying to be sneaky. And there's a guy camping in the corner because why the hell wouldn't he? This game just... It's one of the best things about it is the fact that it just paved the way for like... Call of Duty as a whole, you know, at least the the old ones did, you know, or the old version of this. Obviously, the remaster was just a remaster, but got him, got him with the what is it, katana? Yep. Let me pull it out. How do I inspect it? There we go. Yep. Get him. Yes. Oh, that is satisfying to get people with that thing. 
Call on that airstrike. Hopefully we can get another helicopter. We gotta wait a second. Come on, call it in. Oh, come on. Of course he came from behind. Why wouldn't he? Kind of getting used to the uh, aiming on this gun now. Oh, shit. Yeah, once you start getting used to the M16, it is a force to be reckoned with. I'm not even going to call that airstrike. Oh, the game's going to end anyways. Might as well just call it in. Why not? Right on us. <laughs> there we go. All right. Another fantastic game. Four in a row. Four in a row of us doing pretty well. I think we we lost. Oh, no, we won. We won this game. I was going to say, I thought we lost for a second. I'm like, how the hell could we have lost that match? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm going to try maybe a different game mode. Maybe we can get, like, a domination lobby. If not, we'll just, we'll just stick with TDM. doesn't really matter that much. All right, we're on wet work now. We're going to start pulling out some of the DLC guns because we've been basically only using guns that were already in the original COD 4. And I kind of want to talk about the whole idea of them adding DLC guns to this game in the first place because I know a lot of people were not happy with that. They thought it was a bad thing about this game, the fact that they were adding in guns that weren't in the original. Personally, for me, I didn't really care. I was actually glad to see new content because you have to realize it's a seven... Well, at the time it was a... I think a nine-year-old game at the time. Yeah, at the time Modern Warfare Master came out, yeah, it was a nine-year-old game that they were remastering, right? So, we've all played that game to shit. We played it like crazy amounts. I'm sure most people have put a lot of hours into it. I know all the guns in the game inside and out. It's nice to have just some new content to kind of spice it up a little bit. Like, I don't know why people would complain about new content. Of course, there was the complaints that they were behind supply drops, which is a reasonable complaint, I would say. But a lot of people weren't even complaining about that. They were just complaining about the simple fact of them adding guns at all. They weren't too hard to earn, the DLC guns. I mean, they were definitely easier to earn than, like, Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare. But, yeah, it wasn't perfect. It did take some time to get. I still personally don't have all of them. I have majority of them, though. I maybe don't have, like, one or two, maybe three. But I have the majority of them. And I haven't played that much, so it's not like I put a disgusting amount of time into the game. Shit. Grenades are just the worst part of this game, man. <laughs> the amount of grenades that get chucked is just insanity. This map's interesting. I don't love it, but, like, it's interesting. It's a very, like, just one lane type map with just boxes as cover, which could be kind of interesting. If you have a team that's, like, really working hard, hard to push, you'll be successful, but otherwise... If you get pushed back too far, it's 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 a shit show. And you can get spawn trapped pretty easily. Oh, did I just kill that guy with the concussion? Obviously he was damaged, but still. Nice airstrike. Call that in right there. Hopefully we can get a helicopter from this. And if we get a helicopter... We're going to be pushing them even further back into their spawn. This shouldn't be too hard to get one more kill. Come on. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no! Bro, fuck grenades. Grenades, easily the most obnoxious thing about this game. Because you can get grenades times three, which is just the most overpowered, like, perk ever. I don't even bother using it, because, like, I don't want to sit there and throw three grenades. Like, that's just not fun. But people do it. They sit in the back of the map just tossing nades. It's like, how is that fun? That was a terrible match. Definitely much worse than the last four. <laughs> and now we're on Beach Bog, which I guess gives me an opportunity to talk about one of the best things about this remaster. The new variants of different existing maps, like they had Daybreak, which was a different version of Downpour, the much brighter, you know, more beautiful looking St. Patrick's Day themed map. This one was obviously the summer themed Bog, which looks a lot better than the original Bog. And even plays better because of the little addition that they had with this little wall right here. Makes the map play a lot better, surprisingly. And then obviously Winter Crash returned. And I think they had another one, but I can't remember which the other one was. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We're getting destroyed. Holy shit, what is happening? What happened to the, this lobby? It must have changed me on the other team. The losing team, clearly. Oh my god, this is a shit this is this is a massacre. Bro, it's it's like it's a straight up massacre. What is happening? <laughs> They're just lighting us all up. Look at the score. 
don't want, it doesn't matter. We have the boss 12 here, so or the boss 14, not, not 12. So we'll fuck him up. Oh god. He thought. He thought. Got him. I really gotta stay behind cover here. Let my airstrike do some work. Nope, it didn't do much, so I guess we have to we have to push then. Nice. Nice! Got the helicopter. Good shit. Where did you come from? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a nice little comeback. Oh, we took the lead. Holy shit. Hey, did we can win this? Yo, let's win this right now. Hold up. Let's win this. I can't say I'm doing all the work for the team, but I'm doing the majority of the work. That's for sure. Probably stop most of them off their kill streaks. They're trying to shoot down my helicopter. What are they doing? Drop that right there. Fall back. Oh god, 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 oh god. Holy shit! Call the heli, call the heli! Yo, what is happening? Oh no. Yo, we just came back like crazy fast. They could still win though, so we gotta we gotta we still gotta keep trying. My heli's definitely gonna help us win. It's not only keeping them occupied on shooting a helicopter down, but also some of its some of them are actually dying by my helicopter as well. I just tried to heal like it's Black Ops 4, what am I doing? Damn it. I've never wanted to win a game this much in my life. Because <laughs> it's a fun little comeback. I know this is mainly going to be on me and my abilities here because I don't think the rest of my team's doing that much. Yeah, the other dude's got 16 kills and everyone else is less than 6, so I'm pretty much doing all the work here. Majority of it. Oh, I was going to try to get a headshot on that guy. Oh my god, it's a, literally a 5-point game, dude. Holy shit, what, where, 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 where? What a dub, bro. All right. I'm having a great time on this game today. I was expecting to have fun because I like this game. But, like, a lot more fun than I expected, to be honest. That was quite the comeback. Wow. I think we'll play another game or two, maybe. I'm not too sure. I tried getting a lobby of domination before, and it did not go over well at all. I was sitting there for about 10 minutes waiting and couldn't find shit. So I just said, screw it. Let's just, let's just move on. Just keep, keep playing Team Deathmatch. I'm assuming that's going to happen for most CODs. Oh, we just got to kill with that grenade. Nice. I'm assuming it's going to happen with most CODs. We're not going to be able to find anything but TDM, and that's all right. TDM can be kind of fun here and there. Dude, this gun, like, insta-kills. There's a guy over here. Oh, shit. How'd they know I was there? They don't have a UAV, do they? I guess they must have a UAV, because... Don't know how else you'll know I'm there. It's a really weird map, bro. Nice! That's all I wanted was a helicopter. I don't really care about going on a long streak or anything. <laughs> We've got a helicopter on almost every match except for that one match we played on wet work. Which was kind of unfortunate that we didn't get one that game, but oh well. I like these little tubes here that you can go through. Oh god! Yeah, that's the problem with these older CODs that you can't shoot while mantling, because that's something that I believe Ghost was the first COD to let you shoot while mantling, which is such a useful thing, I gotta say. Dude, this gun really does insta-kill. And we got stuck mantling again. Just don't mantle in these old games. I think that's the that's the trick to not dying. Just don't mantle. How do I have half more than half of our team's points right now? Like the next guy on my my leaderboard has five kills. Ew. Why does everyone suck? Oh! I really wanted to give him that knife. <laughs> or I guess the katana. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go.
Airstrike. We might lose this game. Unless we can... I gotta rely on my teammates here, because I'm, for some reason, just getting killed behind. I mean, if I, if I could just rush in there and get a couple kills, I think I'll be alright. Maybe if I can get a UAV. If I can get... Oh, no. Just UAV. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. Just UAV. And now we gotta push hard. Nice. Airstrike. Call that in. Just drop it right on them. There's enemy over here. Got him. Yes, helicopter. Oh, we can actually win this. We could actually win this. Hold up. Come on, teammates. Don't start dying on me. Honestly, just sit in the back of the map. Let me get the kills, to be honest. <laughs> Make it easier for us all. Nope. We're on a 10. Doesn't really matter what kind of streak we're on, I guess. No, they shot me down. It's a two-point game. It's actually fun caring about the objective. <laughs> I usually don't. I usually just play, try to get as many kills as I personally can. But sometimes it's fun to just be like, I actually want to win this game. How are we not? I don't get it, dude. I've literally got like 40 kills almost. Come on. This should not be that difficult. Yes. We can't lose now. Come on. We physically can. We physic. Come on, teammates. Get a kill. You just need one more kill. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was really getting worried there for a second. I was like, bro, are we going to actually lose this damn game? We got 41 kills. 41 out of the 75. And the next person on my team has 10. 10, bro. That's a 31 kill difference. Whatever. All right. I'm going to end it there. That was a pretty nice comeback. We had two nice comebacks in a row. Um, I don't really want to play Overgrown or Bug, so we're just going to... Actually, you know what? You know what? We're going to play Overgrown. And we're going to snipe. We're going to snipe on Overgrown. We're... Should we use the S-Tac Aggressor or should we use the M40? I think we should go with the old M40. We got to go with the classic, you know? I love the S-Tac, but like... Sometimes, man, you just gotta you just got to go with the classic. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm literally just doing this for you guys right now. Look at this old reliable right here. I think the S-Tac Aggressor might be a little bit better, but this one's just more classic, you know? You gotta go with the more classic one. I'm a terrible sniper, by the way, so just expect this to be a terrible match. <laughs> expect this to be god-awful in every way, shape, and form, but we're gonna do it anyways, because it's overgrown. You gotta, man, you gotta. <laughs> this, this is gonna go so bad. <laughs> We're probably gonna lose this game because they don't have me actually getting many kills. <laughs> I purely like to rush. Like, hard rush. I'm talking like SMG running up in like the enemy's building and just taking everyone out. That's the way I like to play. So, snipers just have never been something I've ever gravitated towards because like... How the hell are you supposed to rush with a sniper? I mean, I guess you can if it's like a really, if you're really good at it. And you're really good at quick scoping, but as you can probably tell, I'm not very good at that. So <laughs> I usually want to like sit back a little bit and just relax, try to get kills from a distance. But the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, that was funny. I don't want to fail and end up dying, so I played a little safe there, but I could have probably gone on with that for a little bit longer. That would have been funny. Boom, headshot. Boom. No. Hit it. There we go. Oh. Finally, we get a UAV. Wow. It's better than I usually would do. There we go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I accidentally did that again. Whoops. Oh, God. Got him. I'm pretty 
positive, yep. Whoa! Oh, noob tubes can suck one. I mean, they're not as bad as Modern Warfare 2 at least, but... Which I am not looking forward to playing that game. I will be completely honest with you guys. That game's going to be a shit show and a half. I love throwing back grenades from Modern and then and killing other people with it. That's always the best. Overgrown should be a location in Warzone on the on Verdansk. This looks like it could fit in Verdansk very well. But yeah, don't you see what I mean? This could work so well in Warzone, like this just general area. I'm surprised it was never added. It just looks like it fits in Warzone. I'm pretty sure is it part of the the COD Mobile map, or am I mistaken on that? I feel like I remember seeing Overgrown as part of the. One of the locations on the COD Mobile's Battle Royale. Alright, well, the game's about to end, and I don't think we're going to be able to do much more with this match. I think I've sniped myself out for the day, so... Yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. I had a great damn time playing this game again. I mean, this is just... It's one of the uh, one of the more classic CODs, obviously, and it, it's pretty fun. Obviously, the remaster helped it out a lot. I don't think I would like it as much if it didn't have the remaster having more content to grind for, having just more things to do in the game, more weapons, more maps, more modes. It really does help the game out a lot to make it a much better all-round experience. And yeah, I enjoy it. I'm going to pull out the... Uh, hold on. I want to pull out this real quick. Oh, come on. No, no, no. no. I want to see what that looks like. I want to see what the AK... Ah, oh, I had a cool AK. I wanted to see what the weapon kit looked like on it. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on my next one. Peace out.